Let's check out Czech. Hello, welcome to Light Linguistics. Czech, historically known as Bohemian, is a West Slavic language spoken primarily in the country of Czechia. Being a West Slavic language, it shares a lot of similarities with other West Slavic languages, like Polish and Slovak. It's also related to the other Slavic languages, like the South Slavic languages, including Bulgarian and Serbian, and the East Slavic languages, including Russian and Ukrainian. Czech, like its brother Polish, is known for having a lot of interesting sounds. For example, Czech has a distinction between the African ch and the palatal consonant ch. The first one is like the English ch, and the second one is like a k that's moved forward in your mouth a bit. Czech also has two R sounds. One is the standard trill r, and the other is pretty much unique to Czech. I'm not even going to try it because I know that I can't do it right. And even beyond its sounds, it has a really interesting grammar. The word order in Czech is much more freeform than it is in English. This is because Czech uses what's known as cases to indicate what role a word plays in the sentence. If you've ever studied German, Latin, or Greek, these are probably pretty familiar to you. Basically, the ending of each word can change to match its role in the sentence. To connect it to something familiar, in English we change our verbs to match their tense and person. For example, we have run as a root, but we also have runs and running and ran depending on the context around it. And Czech does a similar thing on nouns. But instead of changing to match the tense, they change to match the role in the sentence. And Czech has seven of these cases, which is more than German's four and Russian's six. And Czech has seven of these cases, like its brother Polish. For comparison, German has four cases, Greek has five, and Latin and Russian have six. But Estonian up here has 14. And speaking of Estonia, the Estonian cricket team will be going up against the Czech cricket team tomorrow, July 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern European time. That's 8 a.m. Central Time for those of us this side of the Atlantic. This is part of the World Cricket Championship Qualifier, and you can watch it live or afterwards on ICC.tv. The Estonian cricket team had a tough fight against Switzerland today, which Switzerland came out on top of. Well played, both teams. Thank you to Team Estonia for sponsoring this video series. Best of luck tomorrow, and like and follow for more language.